Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be changing the radio on the Mark 4 Mondeo. So as always, if you like the videos I do, leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Now let's crack on with this video. Okay, so now we're going to install this new radio to replace the stock unit here. And uh, it's turned up, I've obviously opened it up just to check everything. And it looks okay, the instructions unfortunately for it are in some sort of gobbledygook language uh it's the usb cable this is the side that plugs into the back and then you can plug this into your ipod or usb port so let's get the radio out of its box and have a little look so let me set up my camera stand that's the new radio doesn't look too bad I went for this because I wanted that to keep the stock look but I wanted to be able to plug my iPod and everything into it which makes more sense to me so let's just put that down there so yeah looks okay turn it around look that's where the USB cable plugs into and you've got your normal ISO sockets here so we'll work that all out in a second we've got a new aerial to go in and a new base for it to attach to and like I said the USB cable for it all to work first thing we've got to do remove all the trim inside here so all of this has got to come out all of this I believe there's a couple of screws behind here and here and down here but to get to them you've got to take some of this bottom bit off and as I've got all this out I'm going to be removing the uh, Nokia holder as well so let me just crack on with that and um, take you along. So I've got some picks and some trim removal tools that I think are come in handy. So I'm going to start by removing these two parts here. Hopefully they just pop out easy. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and there's four tool screws. I think they're T25s. Yep. Nope, sorry, T20s. So they're T20s. Uh, next thing I'd imagine pan down is lift up and pull this out. Undo. This one is a hell of a lot lighter than the original one. Shows it ain't genuine. Take that off. So now this part's out, we've got to remove all of the rest of it. So I'm hoping this just pops up. this out so the two screws are down the bottom here two in here and two here
that's all four screws now this I should just pull away and reveal the radio let's disconnect these from the back okay let's pull down and you've got four screws one two three four i'll tell you what let me completely remove this piece you see the cables on disconnecting so you've got one screw here one here one here and one here again they're the t20s So now it should be free to slide out. And it'll reveal. So you've got the aerial and the cable here. The ISO, it's got all your power and all your regular wires. So it should just unclip. So now you just get the new radio and fingers crossed it's just literally plug and play. Don't forget the USB cable that sits in the back. So you just unravel it. And plug it in. And that's that. I'm going to feed this what end into the glove box in a moment. Let's get the ISO cable. Reattach it. Get the radio. Um, yeah, that way's fine. Then, one thing before fully connected is just try and tuck this okay and connected and working. So, it's in. Let's test it. Heat on, full blows and turn it off. Okay, so you can see this is Chinese here. Um, I should have guessed really it's going to be a cheap Chinese because of the price. Uh, so we need to change that. So turn it on, Men menu, click up once to that way, click OK, and it's changed it. So, right. I've got a USB down here. Okay, so we'll test the USB. Powered up. Come up USB, you push aux, initializing. Turn it down. 
yeah it works okay it's coming up with a track name and everything um skip to the next track like so and then this uh go through it's gonna take a little while to get used to it all and how it all works um how do you change the files go back there you go so you just scan through like that quite nice okay so radio click on radio bit of white noise i said quickly scan see if it actually picks anything up with the broken radio but might not do nah it's not so okay turn it off comes up with the days it's all got to be changed to time one hour mode off Oops. comes up for the audio it's not bad for what i paid for it ain't too bad so i've turned it back on one thing i'm going to check before i completely reinstall it is to see if the buttons work on the steering wheel the volume doesn't work channel don't work so no there may be a separate module you'll need to get this to work on here but it's no big problem it's working fine uh, so i'm gonna fish this through to the glove box somehow get it all put back together again and uh, bring you back when it's all done so the radio is all in all finished looks nice and stock really impressed all that wiring that was behind for this knocker thing that's here is all out uh, and it's a part of the video playlist where I've just done a general tidy up, changing the gear knobs, the vents and stuff like that. Uh, there was a wiring loom in between the radio and that kit. And it had the little like uh, Scorpio box in it for the audio to work with the Bluetooth for the Nokia system. I've taken that out and now we've got full control again over the audio from here. You can flip between the tracks. I'm not sure if I push and hold the middle button here. Yeah, you can skip to in between what you want to put on. So, works nicely. I'd say it's a good job, well done. I like the way it just looks nice and stock. Which is the look I was going for. No CD in it, radio works, everything works. Nicely done. So there you have it guys, I've put the new MP3 USB radio in, quite a bit of a ball lake to do if you want to use the USB side of things like I've discovered there, but it was doable. Uh, for me it's worth doing because I wanted the USB for my iPod and um, so it's worth chucking it in. So as always, that's another video done. If you like the video, consider hitting the like button down the bottom there and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And for now, see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh. Oh.